Jim from Jim's Holy is Holy is here. How you doing? Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video I just did on how I sow my seeds. And I'm just going to do a, uh, a little instructional, informative instructional on uh, the different tools that you can get uh, to optimize your coleus or any kind of really any kind of plant. Uh, the, the tools I use, the, the uh, grow lights, the little greenhouse, and a couple of things that I do to make sure that my plants, my coleus plants, uh, grow, uh, the maximize. Because when they're young, it's very important, and this is a good way to get nice, strong, mature plants. So let's go take a real quick look. It'll be a nice, quick, in and out video, and we'll get get everybody started. Okay, so uh, again, we got uh, we got three and a half, we got three and a quarter uh, trays here. Uh, got a, a seventy-two pod and two fifties. Average about uh, four to five coleus per pod. Uh, I spread them out. Four mostly, it might be a few to three, uh, and I also am growing some kawaii wishbones this year. So I'm try a little something different, uh, but I'm primarily a coleus. I'm holiest of coleus, holy coleus. So anyway, uh, again, this is the um, system I use. Um, again, if you've been following along, you know I'm always bragging about my southeast facing bay window that just gets. It's like a sauna here. This is this is like the ultimate coleus location. It's like a greenhouse. So lots of light, sunlight. The only difference is uh, this time of year, it's uh, it's it's winter. Is you get shorter days. So to slup, supplement that, you need uh, grow lights. All right. So uh, you need really to supplement this the uh, the light requirements for your your coleus and again you can apply this to any plant anything that you're any seedling germination uh, because you know uh, during winter time uh, you get what eight hours not even of sunlight sometimes less so you need to supplement that best way to do it is um, grow lights now there are different grow lights and it depends on what kind of setup you want this is my home this is my dining room I don't have a basement, so I like these because they're very safe and they're energy efficient. They don't throw off any heat or very, very little heat. And these are LED and they're full spectrum. Make sure when you look up um, grow lights that they're full spectrum, which means that they give the full spectrum of light required to successfully... Um, enable photosynthesis for your plants um, so any lesser grow light you'll get lesser results and you want to get your grow light as close to your germinations as possible yeah so yeah I have this hanging from my ceiling um, you could argue I can actually put it under here it's just a little difficult to do this is this is effective would it be better if it was right here Sure, but um, I've gotten good results like this. I've actually lowered it even more, uh, but it's it's effective, as you can see here. And these are these again. These are the trays I did yesterday that I just did the uh, video. If you just check out my last video on how I sow my coleus seeds, and I also have this other uh, same thing, full spectrum grow light. These are very effective. For really, it's not going to really show up on the video, but very bright, very safe, energy efficient. They're adjustable, adjustable arms. They have a timer for 3, 6, and 12 hours um, with a little clip. So you can pretty much put them anywhere and adjust the arms to where you need them. So I have these pretty close, just cascading. Uh, the coleus pods so you want to make sure that your your whatever you're growing and again this is obviously coleus you want to make sure that they're getting as much light as possible um, keep them on I'll keep these on 24 7 until my plants mature I had mentioned in my previous video uh, I was gonna wait a couple of weeks till I get into the day and night um, cycle uh, it's it's really more like a month or so. I wait till the, the coleus are 
are fairly mature, not, you know, uh, fully mature, obviously, but just uh, eight weeks or so. And then I'll introduce the night and day schedule, which, um, which is basically 16 hours of grow lights and eight hours off. So before you go to bed at night, shut your grow lights off. When you wake up in the morning, put them on. That's a guide. If you're off a couple of hours, it's not going to kill anything. Another thing I use are the warming mats. These are waterproof, very safe. They just provide enough warmth for the germinations to keep nice and toasty. And again, the general rule of thumb, coleus need light, they need heat, and they need warmth. I'm sorry, they need light, warmth, and moisture. And you can see here there's plenty of moisture going on. Okay, and one other thing you're going to see, and this has been happening in the past few years, is on your in your pods, especially with this kind of moisture, you're going to start to see some little fuzzy, almost like um, like almost like a mildew, uh, almost like a cobweb form uh, across the surface. That's just a mildew. Uh, what I do is I just take a model brush, a very fine model brush, and I gently brush the mildew, the fuzzy mildew away. Just be careful of the germinations and that's fine. It's just, it's the past few years it's been coming, uh, I don't know what, what it is. And uh, other coleus growers have uh, also made mention of it. So, okay, so um, just remember, uh, that's why coleus seeds need to be dropped on top of the soil and not buried because they need light to germinate so okay so if you want uh if you if you need a link on where i got these grow lights uh, just ask uh leave a comment or better yet subscribe to follow me on instagram uh and i'll shoot you an exact link on where about where i bought these and just keep them going these these lights keeping these bright lights going on these young germinations will keep your coleus from getting leggy, long and stringy. All right, hope this helps out. And uh, just keep following along. Jim's holding the coleus. Since the the, the uh, season has started, and we'll be uh, doing more and more updates. As soon as these germinate, we'll shoot out a video, and we'll, uh, we'll guide you through the whole season. All right, thanks for watching. Jim's holding the coleus.